we are going to demonstrate how to set the end limits on a Bettis RTS electric actuator. This procedure can also be found in section 6 of the IOM titled End Limit Setting. With the unit powered up, we can see in the home screen of our display the operating mode, status, and current actuator position displayed as a percentage. The red selector switch or LOR has three positions, local, off, and remote. You can see the operating mode change as we flip the switch up and down. The LED display on top of the screen here provides actuator status indication. L1 is solid yellow indicating no torque error. L2 is solid yellow indicating ready. The Bluetooth is flashing slowly to indicate a ready state but no data transmission or connection. The green light next to the closed disk symbol is telling me my actuator is currently closed. The symbol next to it is for open indication and has a default of red. With the red selector switch in the neutral off position, tap the black control switch down to navigate to parameter P1.1 for in limit open. Here you can see the current absolute value of the encoder. Once the limits are set, the 0 to 10 or 0, excuse me, 0 to 100 percent scaling will be based on these values. On the bottom left hand of the display screen, you can see the word edit with a question mark. To edit, flip the selector switch up. Now the text reads save with a question mark. Lock the red selector switch in local by pressing it down and you will see the word teaching displayed in the bottom right hand corner. Use the black selector switch to run the actuator to the open position by pressing the switch up towards the open valve symbol. The red light and the LED display will blink as you're moving towards the open position. You can vary the angle of the switch to increase or decrease the switch scrolling speed or motor operating speed. You can see the length of the black bar on the right hand side indicates the scrolling speed of the switch action. Once you have confirmed your valve is open, we can flip the red selector switch back to the neutral position and flip the red switch up to confirm and save the setting. You'll see that it changed from save to edit and L1 and L2 blinked green for confirmation. Now tap the black control switch down to navigate to parameter P1.2 for end limit close. Flip the red selector switch up to confirm and then lock it down in local and you'll see the word teaching here in the bottom right hand corner and we can use our black control switch to run the actuator to the closed position notice the red or excuse me the green light is flashing as we run the actuator towards the closed position
run the actuator to completely closed and verify visually if possible. Once we're in the closed position, flip the red selector switch back to the neutral position and then tap the red switch up to confirm the setting. You can see it changed to edit and L1 and L2 blinked green for confirmation. Now we can flip the red selector switch down to local and this will take us back to the home screen and you can use the black selector switch to run the actuator and verify your limits.